Hello, and welcome to Final Show Films. I'm John, the executive producer here, and I've got a few pre-show notes for you. First, a reminder. All of the content we produce is available on our website at finalshowfilms.com, as well as youtube.com slash sensetaku, sensetaku.podbean.com, twitch.tv slash sensetaku, and on iTunes. We are only able to do the things we do thanks to the kind support of our Patreon donors. We give a special shout out to our $25 tier supporters, Antitonic and Cat Waterflame. If you'd like to support us that way, be sure to check it out. Secondly, a thank you to the folks over at 411mania.com. They produce articles and content related to wrestling, MMA, movies, music, and gaming. Go check them out. We appreciate their support as well. And lastly, be sure to subscribe, comment, and rate, if possible, wherever you listen to or watch our content. It helps us know what you like, what you don't like, and helps us make more content. Feedback is always appreciated. With all that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now live. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Grand Terror Rebirth. I'm John, the Game Master for the evening. Um... And as I'm now talking in complete sentences, the sound I realized was probably too high. So, hello everybody, and welcome to the stream. I'm John the Game Master, as I just said. With me today is William. Hi, I'm William, and I'm playing Baldrin Ironhand, Dwarven and Cladic of the Forge. And Cody. I'm Cody, I'm playing Corbin, the human battlemaster that's tired of everybody's shit. <laughs> and Mara. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mara, and I'm playing Hope, the Scourge Azamar Rogue Barbarian. Revenant. I could keep going. Uh, Very Aaron. long title. Hi, I'm Aaron, and I'm playing Nyx, the Human Druid of the Abyss. And Jeremy. Hello, I'm Jeremy. I am playing... Uh, who the fuck am I playing today? Uh, Selena. <laughs> Selena. The... the Fire Genasi, uh, wild mage, sorcerer, selfish bitch. Uh, <laughs> again, we do not have uh, Sarah today. She is still feeling unwell. Um, so, when last we left our adventurers here in Grand Terra, um, they had found their way down to River's End to investigate some leads they had acquired regarding the cult known as the Shards of Eidos. Uh, when, upon arriving, they found a town enchanted with some sort of magical ritual that made everybody seem as if everything is fine. And that if they tried to remove that enchantment, then they would find themselves dead, that they would find the person dead. Uh, in response to this uh, information and information that they had gathered while there, they decided to call for help, calling upon the uh, the graces of El uh, Elisaria, El uh, Elisaria, the uh, Archmage of the Adventurers Guild and a apparent member of something known as the Azure Legion, who was unable to come herself but sent an another fellow member of the Azure Legion, one... Uh, one um, why am I forgetting the names of my own fucking characters? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 one Galadir Aluni, uh, Galadir Aluni, the um, a a high, a high elf or a moon elf specifically, uh, wizard, uh, who appears to also be the very same wizard that uh came to Nix's town when Nix was a young child and uh fixed everything and removed Nix's memories, um. Which caused Nyx to flee the scene in a panic, and uh, uh, Selena and Hope to follow. Um, they, uh, Baldrin, staying behind, uh, requested assistance from uh, Galadir, who did so, removing the enchanted, uh, removing the enchantment on the town after taking a while to study it and determine exactly, precisely how. Um, Afterwards, he continued to study the effects when the group got <coughs> together, Hope and Corbin, or Corbin having passed out already and Hope going to the inn to pass out as well. Um, Nyx, Nyx seemed to want to go talk to Galadir. Uh, that ended up mostly being Nyx staring at Galadir, hoping against hope that Umbra, uh, using whatever mystical method with which he was tracking Nyx, came and killed Galadir, which did not happen, as later was revealed that Galadir has a non-detection uh, aura around him that prevents such a thing. Um, 
Galadir established a tower, uh, or pulled a pulled a what to do a portable tower out of his coat and uh, activated it at the edge of town. Um, Nix and Selena spoke with him for a bit, determining that he was going to be staying in town for a while to uh, to see a at the shards of Idos come back and b what any sort of long lasting effects such an enchantment are. And that is where we left off with Nix and Selena yep. leaving the tower of Galadir. Uh, really quick, before we like, mm -hmm. before we leave, Selene is going to be like, I have a thought. Turns around. Wait here, I'll be right back. Walks back in. Mm -hmm. uh, go to find, go to find crazy, crazy wizard. We find him oh, back boy. up in the library. Uh, there's only one of him now. The other one seems to have wandered off. Hey, so I got a question for you. Certainly. Um, you said you've got a uh, you've got a, a non-detection field around you, right? Yes. Do you have anything that can grant that? He uh, uh, reaches around his neck and pulls up a locket that he's wearing, uh, and sort of dangles it. Uh, well, yes, this. Let me rephrase that. Do you have anything that can grant that that you would be willing to part with? Not on hand at the moment, but I could craft one for you if you desire. I think that would be stellar because I don't know if you've noticed, but we're sort of running around trying to deal with this whole nonsense. And... It's kind of hard to do when we've got two people who 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 this fuck stain has has sort of an inside line straight into their heads. Fair enough. So if you could come up with something, I think that would be very useful since since we are essentially on the same team. We're buddies in this whole thing, right? <laughs> He's he's looking at you. You get a sense that he's not actually looking at you. <laughs> is he is he staring at me, hoping that that hoping that Umber will show up and kill me? No, because... no. You don't think you don't think he's seeing the area around him right okay. now. You think he's looking at something mentally. Okay. Um. Once so you yeah. Since since we are best friends in this whole this whole situation, we want essentially the same thing to come to pass, uh, more or less. Um, it might be well worth your time to make us something like that. Give me a persuasion check. All right, I'm gonna give myself advantage on this shit. Mm. Do it because I'm gonna need it. I think. <laughs> Luckily, persuasion is one of my better rolls, which means I might actually roll like a it's eight. Almost, it's almost like I asked one of the more socially aligned characters to make the persuasion roll. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm the only person there. Uh, 23. Nice. When you remove the curse on Nyx, bring the ring back and I will fashion you an item. Which ring? The one, the, the ring of... The, the cursed ring that is currently on his finger. Oh, right. Right. That ring. The ring of default oh. Final Show Films character status. <laughs> the ring of poor judgment. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That ring. All right. Sounds like a plan. You're a good peep. Don't let anybody tell you different. <laughs> I don't. And he turns back to his... I book. know you don't. <laughs> As as she lies under her breath, <laughs> through her teeth, and now I head out and all right, all right we're good. Nix is waiting there, sad puppy dog. Oh, put an arm around. Cheer up, it's gonna be fine. I got him a deal. I made a deal with him, sort of. Hi. Oh, hold on. This is good. You don't like having Umbra in your head, right? As we're walking, as I'm, I'm walking us back. No, I don't. I, I have my rituals. I have my, my own magic. 
Mm -hmm. So, if we can get that shitty ass ring uncursed, he's going to turn it into a non detection ring. Okay. See? And then we give that to five. I mean, I have some defenses, and I'm f fairly been... resistant to mental effects compared to others. Five isn't. You're not wrong. I don't like it, but you're not wrong. And also, assuming that it has a similar effect to his own, the aura yeah, maybe may it'll still be a, a maybe it'll be an aura. That's my hope. That was my hope in the first place, but we'll see. So yeah, uh, see, he he's a shit bag, but we can use him, so he has value. <laughs> I'm an old hand at this. I don't like it, but fine. You know this stuff better than I do. All right, let's get back and, and and see what new catastrophe our our good friends have created. So as you guys are walking back, Boldrin, mm -hmm. um, you were previously sort of keeping an eye out for the husband of the man that died. Yes. Um, and you sort of stepped outside wondering what's taking Selena so long, and you look over and you see sort of standing a few feet back from the edge of the abyss, staring out and the into the roiling shadows, is that person. And you sort of you instantly recognize them. They're sort of standing there. So I, I, I walk over to them. I'm sorry. I look down at you. Oh, ah. Uh. Hi. I'm sorry. There's nothing else I can offer, but apologies. It's not your fault. It is. I should have been more prepared. I could have done more if I hadn't been a fool. Sorry, it's... He used to say the same thing. Not, not that he was in the same position as you, but he was always worried about making plans. Always wanted to be prepared. NPC, you're not making this better on him. <laughs> <laughs> I know that... Uh... I can't do anything to make this hurt less, but... Honestly, I have no clue on this earth what to say, but... You're not alone. This entire village knows pain. And I think they're going to need people who can... Remember what they've lost, but... What they still have. Funny. You remember silly things, inconsequential things. Before the everything, I think the last conversation, the actual conversation we had was a fight about a cat. It's stupid to think back on it. But I can't stop thinking about it. It's how you know he's still there. If you can remember what he liked, what he disliked, what his smile was like. He he's still with you. He wanted a cat. I'm allergic to cats. And he just sort of puts a hand over his mouth and you can hear him trying to not just break down crying. 
I don't know if there's a cure allergy spell. <laughs> <laughs> restoration <laughs> every <laughs> day <laughs> he's just sort of staring now just keep that memory alive he'll still be with you he nods but you can hear the you can, A, you can see the tears rolling down his face, and you can sort of hear the choking sobs. I'll leave, I'll leave you alone, but remember, there are other people here who will need everyone, everyone they can. He nods. And I leave him alone to his thoughts. And as you walk away, you look back and just see him sort of sit down in such a way as to curl up, basically. And you're sitting there at the edge of the abyss. Not close enough to accidentally fall in or anything. But... Yeah. And you get back to the inn, begin hard drinking again. And after about 30 minutes, Selena and Nyx return. <laughs> Selena walks over, sits down next to the bar. I'll have what he's having, but hard, a little bit harder, please. Goes to one tap, moves over two kegs, and starts pouring. <laughs> <laughs> Brings it back. <laughs> so, I look over, so I feel like it's a running theme. But fuck everything. Uh, and you all word you you spend the evening commiserating. Do we wake up at some point? Or are we just sleeping through the day now? <laughs> You guys probably wake up about three hours and a half a dozen passed out drunks later. Mm-hmm. Okay. Head you, down. You, 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 you both awaken on unfamiliar beds. Neither one of you remember getting to the bed. That's disconcerting. Okay. I don't remember drinking that much. <laughs> I remember drinking. <laughs> Say, wizard, still here? I'm I'm going out because I haven't heard any of this, so I'm still like fairly chipper. Uh, going out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm heading down. Uh, Selena and Baldrin, give me Constitution saving throws real quick, just to see if All you right. guys are still awake at this point. Or I have an advantage on this. The... For, for... Nix is I, nominally I believe... sober. I believe being a he dwarf could be advantage on this. He has probably had one, maybe two <coughs> light drinks. Poison. Nice. You are Give both good. Give me all you oh, got, sorry. motherfuckers. Right, now <laughs> right, yeah, go ahead and roll me with, it, with advantage, William. You know, both... <laughs> With with natural twenties from both of you, you are both hammering back drinks as if you were both several sizes larger than you actually are. With Nix off to one side, still like nursing like his first drink. Uh, no, after after like one or two, he just switched to water. <laughs> and yeah, Corbin. Okay, and, that's as much as I wanted to drink water. Corbin and Hope, you guys come down and see this. Selena and Baldrin, with several piles of mugs off to either side of them. Uh, the bartender just sort of leaning back and watching the two of them as if he has <laughs> never seen... <laughs> we, as we, if we, they're so... not... As if they are something he has never seen before. <laughs> which, for a bartender, we, uh, which for a bartender Nix will promise goes a long to help way. clean up the dishes because he realizes that that is probably a lot of effort for the bartender hey, 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 hey. she's sort of like like, like uh, thanks you and agrees but he's like focused on these two 
confused, bemused, concerned, and slightly afraid all at the same time. <laughs> I mean, well, this that looked like that conversation you... went well. Yeah, from the top of the stairs, I just <laughs> loudly say, oh, "This is my kind of party." But I mean, this is what dwarf do that. Not not a Ganassi. And I start this, walking down. This is what Nick happens when puts you puts a your finger first... to his lips and points to some of the passed out drunk people. This is what happens when you have your first drink of real a- real dwarven ale at eight. Well, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Another. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Yeah, what <laughs> and I'm like trying to right. head out the door inconspicuously. I don't want to. <laughs> That's I don't want to get sucked into whatever nonsense. terrible conversation these people got into to get to to that state. Sure. That's Yours. how I justify the complete nonsensical fact that sorcerers, for some reason, have constitution saving throws as one of their proficient ones. <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's you would otherwise die. It's, That's it, how I justify it. Yeah, in, in in my mind, it's because they're they're they it's their their magic comes from their themselves. So it's it's yeah. physical endurance when casting spells. Um. So yeah, I hope you can you can slip out if you want to if you want to stealth out so no one sees you. You can do that too, but it doesn't seem like anybody's going to stop you unless <laughs> Nix is going. Nix might take note with a twenty eight insight, but I mean, he's not going to uh, stop you. Dwarves. Would it be perception. The, oh, no. the the insight that you get because you're not you're not actually like interacting with Hope enough to learn what Hope is trying to do, other than get out of the building mm-hmm. in order yes. to avoid. That and by that, yeah, that I is mean what Nix is taking through. note of. I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, dwar- I modern, sort modern of... children have ale after mother's milk, but before water. Yeah, I guess they're a little later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm heading out. So, uh, hope you step outside, Corbin. What are you doing? Are you going to join at the bar or what? Yeah, I'll sit down for a second and see what I missed. The last thing I remember is that. Galadier going, go to sleep, and then I passed out. <laughs> Fucking yeah. magic. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, let's see. What did you miss after that? Um, everything's terrible. Everything sucks. Um, Doesn't look like everything's terrible. I mean, you guys have been having a good time. Fuck Galadier, but he's also... Make uh, if we can. Oh, I didn't even tell you this yet. Looking at Balter, so if we can get that ring unfucked, then oh, what? the ring. Uh, I'm working on getting getting our our our, our friends a little non detection. What what about the ring is fucked? Yeah, what what? Apparently, it's cursed or something. I don't. Know. Nah. All right. <laughs> Can you fix that? Uh, is it bad? Yes. Well, hey. Good. Solve that problem. Come here. Hey, never drink in cast. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> He's a cleric <laughs> and it's a dwarf. Fine. <laughs> This is how accidents happen. This is yeah, how <laughs> this is how firebolt turns into fireball. <laughs> Forge Father, lay your blessing upon this cursed object. Remove the demon and purge the malady. And I place my hand on the ring and cast remove curse. I like the slight hesitation, which could have been trying to remember the incantation, <laughs> and also could have been trying not to throw up mid-cantation. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to all curses of one creature or object, and the object is I've got the curse remains, but the spell breaks its owner's attunement, and the object. Yeah, so you cast the spell, and there is this sort of dark cloud of smoke that just sort of erupts off the ring and off of Nyx's hand. Take it off. It comes right off. Sweet. And it's Selena. All right, I guess I gotta go take this to an asshole. Um, although I think somebody's already on their way there, so. Uh, um, don't go alone to an untrustworthy person while drunk. (laughs) 
So, how topical. Um, <laughs> while all of that Sorry. is happening, because that's been a few minutes, while all that's happening, Hope, you step outside, um, you sort of look around, and the first thing that draws your attention is this massive three-pronged tower that has suddenly appeared at the edge of the city. Well, that's a little overcompensating, isn't it? Okay. I assume that's the wizard. You can certainly assume that. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and I'm just, like, looking around at stuff, because I... So I'm trying to remember exactly where, what part of the conversations Hope has remembered, has... was present for, and uh, I don't think I learned... I had heard very much about what has passed, been happening. You passed out after... Selena arrived to watch Nyx. Okay. Yeah, then I heard like nothing. You okay. heard you heard the bit that you heard the bit that Gallagher said when he arrived. Mm-hmm. And that was it. And then Nyx's okay. response and that was it. Okay. Yep. All right. I know nothing. I am right. gonna go and start circling around the that tower. Yeah, you go out to the tower, there's one big door in the front and no doors on the side. The closest window is about ten feet up. Is there a rock nearby? Uh, yeah. Okay, like a large rock? Yeah. Okay, uh, do I have paper at all? Sure. Would that be like in just various items I might have on my person? I write a note. Okay. It says... Have gone into Wizard's Tower. If I do not show up, assume he has nixed me. Hope. Mm. I tuck it underneath the rock and I assume if something happens, they know where the tower is and they'll find me. All right. And Jeremy, I knock on the door. Uh, all right. That is the best pun I've heard in a while. <laughs> the door opens. Well, that's creepy. Okay. I gingerly step in. Door closes behind you. You find yourself in this uh, short sort of pre-hallway that opens out into a large central uh, 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 welcoming area hall type thing. Has a large mm-hmm. fountain in the middle. As you step out, you see on the right and left hand side rows of metal tubes that have Galadir in them. Um, and a That's staircase creepy. on and a, a staircase on the far end going up and down. I immediately jiggle the doorknob behind me to make sure it hasn't locked. It opens again. Okay. Shut it back. <laughs> Hello. Yes. I wanted to ask you a couple questions. I haven't moved. Then come up to the library. Which is which way? Up, up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I step cautious. I'm, I'm freaked out. That's fine. Step up cautiously. Yeah. You, you, uh-huh. you up. So the, the very next floor that you look out and you see a bunch of braziers and and uh, a one massive like column of fire and one column of wind like a tornado another column of water and another stone pillar this isn't the library you continue on up uh the very next level you find a library that has a series of you know many 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 uh rows of books and shelves and and sitting at a lounge chair uh um with a book in hand flipping through it is galadir all right so you're a wizard with a lot of power. You could say that. Uh, a second Galadir says, coming around a bookshelf. Yeah, <laughs> I jump. <laughs> okay, that's creepy. Puts a book on the shelf, looks over. Why are there two of you? Why shouldn't there be? Why? What, what is all the things downstairs in the tubes? Clones. If ever I should, if ever I should be an unfortunate end, I wake up again there. Pulls a book off the shelf, walks around. The first Galadier closes the book, turns around to look at you. So, you said you had questions. Yes. We need something called a mirror of life stealing. Hmm. 
or mirror of soul trapping, whatever it was called. You didn't have a name specifically, just a mirror that traps people's souls. Okay, we need a mirror that traps people's souls. To go with that. Well, uh, such objects do exist. I'm not quite certain where one might find one, but whatever for. We need to trap someone's soul. I mean, that's the obvious answer. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When one asks a, when one asks a question that has an obvious answer, one can assume that the not so obvious answer is the one they wish. Mm. The obvious answer is what you're going to get. Give me a persuasion roll. <laughs> okay, I'm terrible at this. Do it. Uh... Back, sass- back sassing the sociopath always goes well. Persuasion. <laughs> uh... <laughs> 14. Intriguing. You speak to a being that you know has the power to eliminate you with the casuality, with the casual nature that you might speak to somebody beneath you. Tells me you don't necessarily value your own life, which is interesting information. I wonder if there's a reason. <laughs> sort of, he sort of puts his hands together, and now he's analyzing you. He sort of puts his hands together, <laughs> resting his nose on his fingertips, and just sort of staring at you. In my case, it's because I have several backups in case this body were to die. It wouldn't be more than a temporary hindrance, and it would be information gained. In your case, I have the suspicion you do not have quite such a backup in place, so... Maybe I'm stupid. Um, you show and you, you have enough knowledge to know that I might have the answers to a complicated question that you seek. I doubt you're that stupid. Also, you proffered it as, in a, as a response, which means that you're not. Hmm. Well, to answer your question, yes, such items do exist. I do not necessarily know where one is, though. I can potentially provide you with the details of how to find one. But... Well, what's in it for me? Information. What information could you possibly have? Mm. Well, you gotta have a bargaining chip to start making a bargain. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, she's debating what she wants to tell <laughs> is the thing right now. Uh... So, really quick. Uh, Selena, were you intending to go right now to see Galadir? Yep. Or were you... Okay, so at roughly this point, you set off. Uh, are you going by yourself? Nick will insistently tag along if Selena leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Selena has two, has two qualities that are not among her best. Being ridiculously impulsive and overconfident. All right. <laughs> so you and Nix leave out, heading towards the tower. I'm fine. You, it's fine. If you were sober-ish, uh, your your <laughs> typical level of sober, I would be I'll fine with, with it. I'm I'm coming with. Corbin sets out as well. <laughs> yeah, congratulations, asshole. That's what you get when you leave. When we ask you specifically, ask you not to leave our site. So now you're not leaving mine, <laughs> and I'll just follow quietly. <laughs> you continue it's going, Nix. It's cool. Yes, I'm going. No, uh, not Selena. Nix, because a a new thing has been introduced. This, this is true. <laughs> Nix will actually run back, grab Baldrin, stay with Selena. I have have a leech that I need to eliminate. 
Nossa, <risos> lixo. Lixo. Corbin eh, six of one, half dozen of the other. Um, Please don't fight with Corbin. I really don't need it right now. Also, someone yeah, should check and see how. This is really the time where I want someone five? to try and leash me. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I check and see how five is doing. I got gotcha. you. As in, like you know, hopefully not wandering off towards. Uh, she was at the table with. Okay. Somebody, she? Five is sitting off to one side. Okay. Poking, poking a drum. We'll get her some donuts and she'll be good. <laughs> I don't know if we make them this late, but just get some, just get some straw or paper or something. She'll burn it. It'll be good. <laughs> Let's go. So Nix, suddenly saddled with Corbin, stays behind <laughs> with, uh, with Corbin and Five, and Boldrin and Selena head off. I don't know what the big deal is. I'm gonna be. I don't get what I, to to both of them. I don't care what his justification is. He's not allowed to mind wipe you. I will strongly object if he tries to mind wipe me. That said, I don't know. If there's much that we could really do to stop him if he be decided safe, he wants to. Be safe. Don't. And mm. by strongly object, I mean I will continue casting spells until something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's on that's on that's on par for what I've seen you've been doing since since we've met. Yeah. Some sometimes like, someone with with an unstable source of magic can manipulate to that. Anyone that's yeah. paying attention that Nyx is in the middle of like flashback panic attacks. Yeah. But sweet, it's okay. We'll be fine. Oh, I, I'm fine. It's okay. I know. I just want you to. And glancing over to Corbin. If he tries anything fucked up, I'll kill him good. After he makes the ring. Or I'll kill him and take the his one. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> once we once once we get a decent enough distance, distance away, don't worry, I'm not actually gonna kill him. You know, unless I he tries to do something terrible. I don't actually think we could kill him. He's a little bit out of our league. Like I said, keep casting spells. Uh, uh, eventually, he's gonna like polymorph into a into a thumbnail or something like that. And then, then we true. just throw the. And we just throw, throw, it throw into that. The abyss. And, no, no. First, we take all of his clones and we throw all of the clones into the abyss. Then we have to think ahead. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's like seven gajillion clones in there of him. Good to know. So be prepared for that level of creepiness. As, as, as Boulder is <laughs> chewing on peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> Boulder's got like a, just a bag of peanuts. Just... <laughs> so the, the, salt, two... the salt helps with the alcohol. So yeah, the, it does. the two of you continue yep. on. Um, All right. Um, and uh, back at the tower, Hope, have you mm -hmm. thought of a response to what could you possibly have? <laughs> yeah. All right. I can tell you why I'm not afraid. I think it's worth two two questions, though. But you know, typically it would, but I think I've worked it out. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, you're an Asimar, which as much can be readily set, readily deter determined by specific f aspects of your physiology. While mostly ASMR do look different, I have discovered over the course of my research and study that there are t uh, telltale similarities that run the gamut between your species. Um, you are an ASMR, as much as certain, which means that you are in contact in a far more direct method with your deity, with a deity at the very least, not necessarily the one that you pray to, but to one of them. Which makes me think that the reason you don't fear death is because you are in your deity's service, and therefore either you are confident that should you die, your deity will do whatever it is in their power to return to, to return you to the mortal coil, or that should you die, you already know they will return you to this mortal coil. Am I close to the mark? Sociopathic wizard. 
I don't like you. I get that a lot. <laughs> Do I get an answer to my question now? The fact of the matter is I don't know where this mirror is, as I stated previously, but it is not terribly painful for me to reveal the knowledge that the person you will seek is someone who makes deals. Deal makers. And, I, and by deal makers, I do mean deals, capital D, sell your soul kind of deals. They tend to know where items that traffic souls can be found. They make it their purpose, shall we say. That's disturbing that you know this much about this. I make it a point to know much about a lot of things. He says, gesturing to the library that, he, that you mm -hmm. were in. I have another question. Let me find my notes with all my questions. Um, Umbra was doing some sort of ritual, and Umbra and, and his cultists were doing some sort of ritual to pull things out of the abyss. Yes, that makes Can sense. That, what kind of ritual would do that? How many people would you need? That I'm not certain on. I've studied some of their rituals, but not all of them. They tend to burn their documents if they catch wind that I'm approaching. Which has been quite frustrating. And he sort of, uh, while rubbing his chin, he like, brings a knuckle to his mouth and bites down on his knuckle. I'm not certain. This is information I do not have, and information I value highly. This... Would have been a good bargaining chip. I'm trying to figure out his deal. Give me an insight check. Because I... Uh, hmm, hmm. Dang it, eight. He's highly the analytical. Uh, uh. He's highly analytical. Um... Seems to work off lines of logic. Very different from the rest of your party. Um, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, he, yeah, it's like f what you're getting off of him mostly is that he apparently doesn't like Umbra at the very least, because mm -hmm. that's the name you've mentioned. Um, yeah. And yeah, he's he, he he his 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 mind is more like a structured series of corridors than a maze. Mm hmm. And like yeah, like like he's he hasn't cast any spells that you've seen in front of you, but he's been making you know logical connections and thought processes very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, so he seems to be a very intellectual person. Hmm. What if we could get you close enough to see a ritual they were doing? That would certainly be worth my time. What would you want in return? I don't know. He did... Mm. Tell you what, if you can get me close enough or get me a location of their rituals that I might be able to intercept before they can destroy all of their documents, then let's say I will owe you a favor. Perfect. He um, reaches over and uh, uh, pulls a box off of a shelf nearby, puts it down, clicks and opens it. Reaches in and pulls out a small cube. Tosses it over to you. I catch it. You'll notice there's a depression on the bottom side of that cube. If you find yourself in a situation that might pique my interest, place your thumb, prick your thumb with blood, or prick your thumb, just enough for a drop of blood, place it into the depression, 
and it will signal your exact location and allow me to teleport to you. Provided that you're not in an aura of non-detection. Perfect. One other question. Hmm? You study things. I am an arcane has, scholar, yes. Has anyone come back out of the abyss who's gone in? Oh, no. That's actually quite a painful way to die. The minute you return to the abyss, your body's uh, body is pulled apart at the at the molecular level, and the aspects of your being are reconstituted back into the abyss's fog, uh, presumably for it to use as materials to reconstitute something else left further on down the line. Are there any patterns to how things get reconstituted? That I don't know. Unfortunately, I threw myself in. I came back as a clone. I didn't get to the other end of it. Although it would be intriguing if I were to suddenly spit out somewhere else with a split consciousness. Hmm. I should scry on... No, I wouldn't have the... Oh, no, maybe they wouldn't have the item. I should scry on myself and see if I find any. Have fun looking at yourself. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> And he turns back and opens his book and continues reading as you turn around and walk down. Yeah. So you walk th past the elemental lab, <sighs> down to the first level, see the rows of clones. <clears throat> there's about there's about five on each side. It's about ten. So um, fucked up. <laughs> and as you get to the door, Selena and Baldrin, you have arrived at the tower. All right. I've I, I don't think... know if you want me to make a roll for this, but I'm putting the thing in my pocket so no one else sees it. Sure. I can I mean, do a can, stealth roll right now. There's no one watching you, so you can okay. just put it away. Sweet. Yep. Um, so yeah, Selena and Baldrin. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi! Uh, well, well, here we are. They're, they're yeah, so I think yet, that's, you know. that's about oh, all okay. the creepiness that I can think of off the top of my head, besides, you know, him in general. Um... And and Nix is maybe concerned that we might might get our mind. Wa oh, hey! Hi. Close the door. Do you have any gaps in memory? Not that I know, you know who but we would are? I? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's why How I said long do you hi, think it's say... been? Uh, half an hour. Okay, that's. Uh, I think. Wait. Do I have gaps in memory? I don't know. We've been <laughs> that sounds right, though. Give me an intelligence save. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally gaslight yourself. <laughs> Wait, you what? don't remember how Baldrin got those peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure fine um so yeah um water is a clear spell <laughs> <laughs> so so we've we, we've got a quick thing that we're doing if you want to get if if you don't have anything planned if you want to get back to the inn and make sure that 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 our druid and our mercenary don't kill each other that'd be great mm, okay uh, he has no idea where to, f where to find a mirror to trap souls or whatever, except for, we may have to go and talk to something that is, you know, may try and sell your soul. So that's, that's just great. Why uh, are we, tra why are we trapping souls? To stop Umbra. Oh, right. Oh, right, 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 right. You know, I, I vaguely remember that conversation. I mean, it makes sense that a, that a being that makes deals in regarding the transfer of souls would know how to find a mirror that traps them within. So, yes, that... Yeah, I, I, I really that cannot That doesn't overstate. make it pleasant. I really no, cannot it doesn't. overstate how unpleasant it's going to be in this... How, how creepy it's going to be in this tower. Um... So, but it's fine. We, 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 at least we know we're getting something out of it. Um, 
What what are you going to talk to him about? Well, I'm getting this ring of fuckery. The what? It's Nix's ring. It's Nix's it, it was Nix's cursed ring. What do you mean? What happened to Nix? Nix is fine. Nix is Why fine. Why is Nix Nix not attached to the ring. Because the ring is cursed. Because the ring was cursed. Keep up. Um, <laughs> I was the, asleep. I just said the ring was cursed. Um, <sighs> so the ring was cursed. Um, now that it is now that it is unfucked, thanks well, it, to thanks correction, to correction. Correction. Don't put the ring on because it's still cursed. I just allowed Nyx to remove it from their from their finger. Oh. No. <laughs> um. <laughs> so much power. It in does look. It does thing. look really pretty. Uh, no. Um. But we are going to get this turned into a non-detection. Oh. Okay. So that way we can that that way Umbra's not not. Um, uh, doesn't have a a a backline to everything, ever where everywhere we are, everything we say, so on and so forth, because of our shardy friends. What does it just block incoming psychic si- s- signals? It blocks or all sorts of scrying, divination, that kind of. That's how non detection generally works. Oh. Work okay. So yeah, um, have fun back at the end. I'm sure it's going to be pleasant and not at all tense and uncomfortable. Well, you look uh, like you were all having a terrible time. So I don't know what he said to you, but that guy, mm. dude, seriously, like fuck that dude <laughs> so hard. Um, I I have. I haven't even been in this tower, and this is already... What happened to you? Me? No. Him. Baldrin. You remember, Baldrin. You, you remember yesterday? Yeah. I found that man. How is he? Not well, but alive. What did you say to him? What I could. And how'd that go? I don't know. Did you make sure all sharp implements were away from him when you left? Yes, but... Good. I mean, there's currently a cloud of death on the outskirts of this city that I can't exactly stop anyone from jumping into. (laughs) Okay. You're not wrong. And Nix and Five and Corbin are all together. Yep. All right. Sounds Catch good. Catch on the back. Have fun with that. Speaking I'm going. of which, we cycle back. <laughs> so, back at the tavern, Nix, Corbin, and Five, uh, Selena and Baldrin have just left. Flag down for a drink. <laughs> After about three minutes, Nyx will um, ask Five. Make sure Five has a notebook and ask Five, you going to be okay if I go out for a little bit? Five uh, writes down, where are you going? Just around. I want to see if anyone has healing potions we could purchase. Want me to come with you? Yeah, Absolutely. Didn't want to force you to come on stupid shopping errands, but yeah, come on. Five gets up and follows behind you. I could use a couple. Think. You will not know. I was trying to be subtle about this, but I'm going to be explicit. You are not welcome to come. Stay away from me. I'm going there too anyways, so... I need stuff okay, to buy. Okay, we'll go somewhere else first. That, that's fine. I can avoid you if that is necessary. No. Yes! 
Yes. No, this is no, no, no. This is what happens. All right. We asked you. We know that people are trying to kill you. I personally could not give two shits, but the others do. They asked you to not leave their sight. Go ahead, be pissed at me. I don't care, but just listen. No. Now we and can't trust wall you. Wall of fire, just right where we're still, he is. Uh, we're still in the so tavern. So you you start to cast that spell, and five raises a hand and snaps a finger, and the wall dissipates. Five. Good on ya. <laughs> we no. don't trust you to leave you alone anymore. You leave. You. No, I just had to deal with him. You are staying away from me. Yeah, I'll stay like five feet away. And I'll wait at the front door. <laughs> five. Holds and up a book. Wind wall. I'll re I'll, can I see it from where I'm at? <laughs> uh, when uh, as five's going to spend two third level spells today, uh, as five counter spells that two. Oh, uh, if five spent a third level spell to counter spell, yeah. they will need to make a roll. Wall of fire is a fifth level spell or a fourth level spell. That's fine. Um, yeah, she hasn't updated her thing yet, so I don't know what spell she's taking outside of that. Uh, with a 17, five counterspells it. Yeah. Um, and five holds up the book that she has just written in. Drunk people sleeping. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, you pointed the, that one out. The other people. <laughs> right. Other people. You will stay. I suck, whatever. Cool. Away from. No, it's not that you suck. It's that you are not allowed. To, I am not going to let someone else do this to me again. I'm not doing anything other than watching you so that others don't go off and chase you. Because I've seen what you're happens when somebody. You're not protecting me. Don't I know. I'm protecting the other ones. Or noble or, or that you're doing this for some greater good or for the others. It is unacceptable. I'm not okay with. I'm not okay with this. I'm not going to let anyone do this to me. Stay away from me. And I will leave. I'm hanging out with five. We'll just walk out of the city. Five will follow you. Yep, so like sort I. of keeping. No, <laughs> no, no, no! I already told you, you're not leaving my sight. Five, please help, help! Five does not have any spells that would help. <laughs> Actually, five does have a spell that would help. Um, five... five also has the ability to communicate and perhaps persuade Corbin. Um. Five, um... I mean, at some point, at yeah. some point, our ASMR is coming back, but... <laughs> <laughs> Not this quickly. Um, yeah. Five writes in the book, I will watch her, and holds the book up between herself and Corbin. Or him. Nyx. The subtle part of Nyx slash the, the player crosses out her and writes him in the book. There you go. The part of Nyx that isn't mid-panic attack because, oh god, Garvin. Yeah. Uh, I'll pull five off to the side, and but still, so five's back is to Nyx, but I'm still looking at Nyx. Yeah. Uh, and I'll say, okay, I'll still be nearby. Five. Out of Taps yeah. you on the chest, and you feel your body become light. And then five just holds a hand out and turns around and walks uh, towards Nyx. For what? Now just five walks over to Nyx and the two of them begin to proceed away. You feel your, like you, you sort of move to shift away and you float 
off the ground. Can I control? Is it just height that I can control? Yeah, no, you can. You have the fly spell cast on you, effectively. Oh, awesome. Insight and then perception. Is Corbin going to be following? Sure. Uh, who are you insighting and percepting? Both Corbin. I don't. I'm just okay. standing there right I now. I trust five implicitly. All right. Uh, Corbin. Uh, are you following me? Uh, when were you were you going to be following while they were still in sight, knowing that you have the fly spell cast on you? Yeah, I was going to shadow them. So I was going to stay. So you're going to wait back. until you were out of sight. Yeah. Yeah. So as far as you can tell by looking at Corbin, it seems like he's not going to move. Okay. All right. Now I'm leaving, and then I am being incredibly paranoid about the possibility that he is following. Okay. <laughs> because give me a perception check. Yeah. Um, Corbin, give me a stealth check with advantage, because you have the ability to be not where. Nix is expecting you to be. I can break ice. I love I. I yes. Level. Yes. Because people 18. don't look up. <laughs> yes. People don't look up. Druids who live in forests. But that's why your that's why your perception check is normal and not a disadvantage. Twenty seven. So after a while, you look back over your shoulder and you see Corbin flying in the air. I'm giving him twenty seconds. And Nyx will hold up a hand directly towards Corbin, just pointing. Five writes in their notebook and holds it in front of your face, breaking line of sight. I am out of counter spells. Stop, please. I'll look five. And five gives you this. If... Five gives you this look that basically reads, I'm supposed to be the crazy one. <laughs> I am, or at least I do my best to be respectful of my... Can I fake falling? Like, ah! and then just, like, go beneath the tree line and then continue Give me a, perce give me a performance check. All right, regular performance. I'm so okay, good so at this. The book away. 12. I have done my best to be as... You, you look like you are pretending to be a puppet more than falling. <laughs> oh, no! As I slowly float down. I don't have that spell. I... We do have conjure animals, and I do know how flight works. Um, yeah. Next, we'll look at five. I do my best to be respectful of your trauma, and I do my best to be respectful of everyone in the group's needs and concerns. This is not okay, and I'm not going to let it keep happening. And if none of you are willing to help me with that, fine. But I'm not going to let Corbin do it. Nix flips up a thing. Five flips Sorry, up a thing. Sorry, five flips up a thing. Uh, writes again and uh, holds the book back out. Um, and it says... Um, what if Umbra comes back to be honest I am more okay with Umbra Umbra five rights Umbra is five, terrifying Umbra is in my five head. cuts you off with I'm not he needs to stay away from me I don't mind staying. With people, but I am not going on a fucking leash. I'm not staying in my place. And then let's go. Corbin, you fall. <laughs> Cool. I was just above the trees at this point. Yeah, so, so you don't take as much damage as you would otherwise. Speaking nope. of conjure animals lets me, let's see, at third level lets me conjure how many birds? 
Oh, man, Baldrin's going to have his hands full in about 30 minutes. Uh, you take 12 <laughs> points of falling damage as you fram hit the ground. Oh, uh, can I try to brace myself at all? Uh, you weren't expecting the fly spell to suddenly end. Oh, yeah, that's true. I wasn't. Um, <laughs> and uh, I was just pretending to fall, and then I actually yeah, did. Yeah. <laughs> um, you are out of sight. You are out of sight of Nyx and Five. You, you, you were staying far enough back that you could hide, and uh, yeah. Five sort of grabs Nyx's wrist and starts moving away out of town in a different direction than you guys were originally going. Okay, yeah, yeah. following Five. Um. Roughly about this time. And also, yeah, um, there are... Jeez, I guess ch I can't summon challenge rating zero, thanks, so... I guess be able to summon like a million of them. <laughs> there are eight Bloodhawks keeping an eye on Corbin. Okay. Um. Meanwhile, Hope, at right. this point in time, you get back to Don't the inn. Only a third level spell. You get back to the inn, Hope. None of the uh, none of the rest of the party is there. Because of course not. All right, I turn back around um, and start wandering around. Give I a, am give looking... me a perception check. Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you see eight blood hawks in the air? Yep. <laughs> or is this around the time that Corbin fell out of the? <laughs> you just look off in the distance, see a dot going down, and then down faster. I just had a weird question. Also, I assume that there is no place in a tiny village to buy a diamond. No. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, you need to go to core for that. Perception. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Twenty-two. Uh, yeah. So you see Corbin doing some sort of weird puppet dance <laughs> in the sky. over by the trees <laughs> in the sky, and then fuck as he falls. And then minutes later, you see uh, about eight bloodhawks circling above him. <laughs> Uh, uh, I slowly start to jog over. Meanwhile, they don't have orders to attack, attack, just threaten. Watch. And if he explicitly comes after me, they will attack. But, like, just. Um, they're just precautionary blood hawks. Precautionary would, blood hawks. It's okay. He would kill all of them. Um, yeah. Back, back to the tower. Selena and Baldrin, blissfully unaware of all of this happening, uh, <laughs> you step inside. I just have, I just have this like moment of divine, like dread. In the back <laughs> I of my mean, mind. let's be honest here. I don't think either of them will be remotely surprised by what's going on. Probably no. not. But you if don't you know are, what's going on not. yet. If yeah. you so. randomly ask them, so. List any sentence you want to describe what you think is going on there. There's at least a one in ten chance that the, that the exact sequence will be described. <laughs> so, you, uh, you, you step into the yep. main hall of the tower. And Baldrin, now you get to see the five on each side metal cylinders, each with a copy of Galadir in it. Well, Baldrin. can't fault him for artisanry. <laughs> Yes, it's very it, it it it's very well made and artistic creepiness. All right, let's go. Um, yeah, go find him. Uh, you head up. You pass yep. the uh you 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 pass the um uh the the what you've seen previously looks like some sort of laboratory with the four elements represented in bra in in sort of columns. Um. Go up and one more level, and you find the library where Galadir is has, sort of closes the book, looks over his shoulders. My, I'm popular today. Think fast, and I don't. I, I go like that, but I don't actually throw it at him because it would be just my luck that I would throw it, and it would happen to land on his on his finger. And we don't need him making worse decisions. So you, <laughs> as you go, think fast. He just stares at you with the silent implication of "I always think fast." I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> You mean there's a slow speed? 
<laughs> Even in silence, he can be a condescending fuckhead. Great. I walk over. I put the ring down in front of him. See, that one's so hard. He looks over at it. Hmm. Well, picks it up. Looks, uh, sort of inspects it. Yes, this will do nicely. Looks up, and Baldrin, you see a second Galadier come around the stacks of books. Uh, walk over to the first, take the ring, and then walk back. Oh, fuck no. Um, Definitely can't fault him for artisanry. The... The ring will be prepared. It will take the better part of the afternoon. But That's fine. Afterwards, it will be ready for you. Is there anything else you require? A uh, question. Uh, just a question on how it's going to work. I am moderately familiar with this. It is a token is it that good? can be worn either on a finger or on a neckband. It doesn't require any particular magical attunement. Uh, simply being in its presence is enough. It will produce an aura of non-detection that radiates 60 feet away in all directions from the ring itself. You are the fucking best sociopath I know. That and it honestly sounds like a like a sincere, legitimate compliment because it is. He tilts his head. We know more than one, actually. Now that I think of it, I know plenty. Well, it is modeled after the same thing that I wear, which therefore it'll have awesome. the same effect. Thank you. <clears throat> and um. Yeah. No. I think we're good. Just. Just. Uh, I don't know. Send one of your U's, or or I will or find you. D- turn into a flying rhinoceros, or whatever it is you're gonna do. Awesome. I think we're good. Very well. And he goes back to re- he looks over at Baldrin. I did apologize, by the way. Good. I'm sure it didn't actually fix anything, but it's a good step in the right direction. He stared at me for a long period of time. I think he was trying to summon this umbra to my side. Yeah, he... Yeah. Yeah. Well... It's a start. Well, shall we go see how how close they are to killing each other? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Um, okay, so, Corbin and Hope. Uh, Corbin, you're on the ground, recovering from hitting the ground, as Hope very quick... You're, you're muted. As Hope very quickly arrives... <laughs> Yeah, I'll be wiping the dust off myself and then uh, heading in the last direction I saw him so I can start tracking. Hold on! The hawks are circling lower now. Hold on. Oh, hey, what's up? What the hell happened? Oh, uh, five casts fly on me, I think. Okay, and then... It went away. (laughs) It went away. Okay, do you know why? Have they been attacked? Don't, don't spells. No, I was watching from a safe distance. Okay. And uh, they were doing doesn't okay? Doesn't magic just, like, run out? Mm, sometimes. There's usually, like, I don't know. There might Isn't be a like fade. A ti- yeah. Make an arcana yeah. check for me, if you want. Yeah. yeah. I will. Spells have a time limit. <laughs> I got a 19, so yeah. Magic spells out. have a time limit. Yeah. You don't know what the time they- limit on fly is, but it seems... Yeah. <laughs> seems I hit that wall. <laughs> Not as long All as right. I thought it lasted, but but they were doing okay before that. Yeah, I'm just making sure nothing happens. Okay, so just keep them in sight. All right, heading out. All right. The Bloodhawks yeah. do not circle lower because Nix um, five took you on sort of a roundabout loop through the city Mm -hmm. that circled around behind where Corbin was and into the woods. Okay. Um, So as Corbin and Hope begin following towards the last known location, according to your instructions, they're not actually heading towards you, so the Bloodhawks stay in their (laughs) monitoring pattern. Okay. Cool. Um, So you guys head off that way. Give me survival checks for both of you with disadvantage. Meanwhile, Nyx. 
five has pulled Seven. you into the woods. Eight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys, you guys can't like. even find the last known location. Like Corbin, you're like, wait, they were on the edge of the city. They were over. Were they by the sign? No, they weren't by the sign. They were by the river. No, they were. And you're sort of trying to figure oh. out if they were by the sign or if they were by the river, and you can't remember. And hope you're not seeing any tracks. There are birds circling ahead overhead, though, so I don't know what that means to either one of you. Well, there's eight of them in the... So, you start, so the two of you start trying to figure out what omens eight hawks mean. Well, no, because the, <laughs> they weren't there before, and hawks normally don't fly in formation. Mm-hmm. How much you want to bet those are Nyx's? Yep. So we just watch those and hope they don't run out. <laughs> Do you actually aim. knock an arrow and aim at the birds? Yeah, I'm holding it there. I hope you see Corbin knocking an arrow and aiming at the birds. What the hell are you doing? What is that going to do? magic they'll anyways. Disa- it's not like they're going to blank. just disappear. <laughs> we need those to <laughs> know <laughs> when Nick dies. Well, one's not going to hurt. Oh, wait. There's what's a- that? What's- I'm assuming either one hit. Listen, let's just not tempt fate, okay? They're flying just high not... enough, it would have been at disadvantage anyways. That misses. So you... Just not tempting fate. The 12 misses a heart, okay. Yep. That. Maybe a freak thunderstorm hits and, like, five of them die off by a lightning strike. I don't know. Then let's if I would have hit. Me. No, I don't have the, the spell level left for a freak thunderstorm. <laughs> Uh, now we're short an asshole and one arrow. <laughs> the arrow, like, hits the dirt next to you because you were firing straight up. <laughs> well, <we're... laughs> Even better, while we're walking along, funk right in our feet. <laughs> yeah, right? Look up. Actually, well, roll me, a, roll me a... Selena, roll me a D100. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see if your chaos magic interferes here at all. <laughs> Wonderful. 64? As a matter of fact, yes, an arrow fling into the ground between Boldrin and Selena. <laughs> Look over at Boldrin. Well, that can't be good. That's a bad sign, yes. <laughs> Pick up arrow. I think we should keep, I think we should start moving a little faster. Let's find them, yes. Alright, so you guys start Pick running into town. Corbin and yeah. Hope, you guys are sort of standing off to one side. You're not... Yeah. You're not particularly hidden, so you do hear the, the quite frankly, chunky sound of Boldrin stomping through the town. <laughs> I wear heavy armor. Yeah. Let's split up. I mean, we do that so often. Yes, but there's a giant and woods it's out here for the same that, reason. that leads into the Feywild, apparently. Maybe we should try and find them. Oh, yeah, they don't know about that. Whoops. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> they told us about They that. do know. You they both know. told them. No. Yeah, no. No, you, no, you guys did tell them. No, so you guys didn't wait. say anything. Somebody said something about what they what it was, and I was like, "You what?" Yeah, yeah. Selena really told everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so maybe we didn't we tell should... you about the grove. No. No. Just yeah. that the forest Just the, was that we. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 <laughs> All right. So I'll put the bow back. Oh, that way. Yeah. Split up. All right, uh, Bolger and Selena, you guys arrive <laughs> just in time to see up? Corbin and Hope running off in different directions, and a cloud of eight b- birds following <laughs> Corbin. <laughs> Yell if the birds disappear. Oh, if I notice that they're following me, then now I know for sure that they're Nixes. Yeah. Bolger, Bolger yeah. just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll walk up to you guys since I'm probably already headed that direction. So where'd you guys go? Oh, well, you know you went to the tower. How'd that? Yeah. Uh, how'd that ring oh, go? Good. That's good. Um, what? I think In- this is yours. Bloody blazes! Oh no, shit! That's lucky. <laughs> yeah, it. I'm good at that kind of shit. <laughs> so, how's it going? Could be worse. Great. <laughs> hey, off worse. in the distance. <laughs> where? I don't hear where is? 
where is our unkillable friend going? To find the constantly I need to run away asshole. That also has five with them. Nick's in favor by them bloody selves. Yeah, yep. that's what I said. <laughs> they wanted uh, Nick's wanted to go <laughs> shopping for health potions. I wanted to go as well. The two that people was apparently that unsatisfactory. Unsatis- the two people that Umbra wants alone are now alone. I <laughs> tried explaining. I tried explaining that, but <laughs> okay. Look, Nick's tried more- to cast some spell inside the tavern. That apparently five had a problem with. So, yes, because we, we while five likes tavern. burning things, <sighs> people is not things. one of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nick genuinely like... did not have enough consciousness to think about that. But That's yes, fine. five is a better person than Nick. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I I told Nick that after that last little stunt that they pulled that I don't think that we could trust them being left by themselves anymore so that I was just going to watch from afar. I'm going to keep an eye on them from now on. They didn't like that. I didn't care. Still don't. Oh, That's a bloody bad oh. idea. Bloody Forge Father, give me guidance. Uh. <laughs> you get a mental shrug. <laughs> 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 a divine shrug. Um, Forge Father's like, I don't know how to help you, man. <laughs> You're on your own, dude. This shit is beyond There's, me. Oh, my God. All right. There so, are some things that even I can't fix. Corbin, <laughs> let me strike a deal with you. Because I'm on a roll with those today. All right. What have you Dealing got? with sociopaths. Dealing Corbin. with sociopaths. Corbin, not Baldrin. Not Baldrin. Sorry, okay. I'll make Nick's my responsibility. The more That's, you keep near it, okay. You gotta the realize I have is that they're not responsible enough for themselves, so it shouldn't fall to you. Whether it should or shouldn't. Whether you trust Nick's or not. Frankly, whether you trust me or not, do you trust my capabilities at least? For all the shit that's happened, everybody except for that one, including Five, has made some pretty solid decisions when faced with with some shit. When being followed by somebody that wants them dead and they know about it, Mm -hmm. they still run off by themselves Constantly which the first time was a good me. which the first time was I will argue a good move communicated poorly. Yeah, regardless. Yeah, regardless. But this last stunt. Mhm. I've seen what happens when somebody runs off to do their own thing. Okay. All I'm trying to say it is it doesn't end well, especially we know that somebody's trying to kill them. When Mm -hmm. it happened last time, we didn't know. All I'm trying to say... And this happens, and he pulls off his left glove, and you see... I cast... uh, uh, Wait, do I have that one on this character? No, he's not saying anything else anymore. All he said, and this happened. No, but I've tried to get the same sentence out three times. Yeah. And it's in character. Um... What 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 does Selena see as Selena so, tries to remember? Selena, Selena does Selena not have silence. silence. He that. pulls off he pulls off his left glove, and uh, so this part of it, the top part of his thumb is missing. The top, basically, the top part of all of his fingers and the second part of all these are missing as well. But now he can't explain why because you cast silence. No, no, silence wasn't cast. Oh, Selena, oh, she doesn't. Okay. I don't have silence. Yeah. Because Sorry, that is my other character <laughs> who has a tendency to cast spells on his party members. Yeah. Yeah. So Corbin, it's almost like we all keep interrupting Jeremy. So okay. Corbin reveals uh, this. Uh, it's his shield arm. Yeah, so. his shield arm, which looks basically like the fingers were removed at joints. Yep. Jesus Christ. 
insert other actual random god <laughs> among yeah. those that 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 selena I have, I have, is that different. another one from the abyss i haven't heard uh, of that one jesus uh, christ is a well-known <laughs> prophet for the priest for the goddess loritha anyways uh, <laughs> this happened so okay when i see the same shit happening it puts me on edge because it doesn't just endanger them, it endangers the rest of us. And that's And fair. I'm at a point now I can handle myself for the most part. And you guys can too, but with what's after them, if we and rush headlong after them. Five and Nick, no, there no, are two of, of you. Them. The two of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unprepared, and they're already fucked, and they're waiting for us. Mm hmm. So I'm not going to disagree necessarily. I'm not going to necessarily disagree with anything you're saying. What I am going to say is for reasons, there is a severe lack of trust between the two of you. So putting one of you watching the other is not smart. Yeah, I don't it's get going to don't turn like out poorly. It's almost like Nick doesn't trust the person who told him to go to a dragon to retrieve an... <sighs> uh, I'll be. It's going to turn out poorly, whatever the reason. Honestly, so I let just me... need a good ass kicking. <laughs> no, that's the opposite of what needs to happen. But regardless, let me... Be the person who keeps close. It, that would work on someone like you or me, Corbin. That's not what Nick. Yeah, needs. no, that's what that's what kicked me out of my funk. Not uh, gonna work. It's not gonna work there. It's that would work, just gonna that, make things worse. That would work among people like you and I. Nick's needs something very different. So really quick, Hope. While you were running away, you mm -hmm. did look back and see Corbin stopped by Boulder and Selena and talking. Did you keep moving, or did you turn around and try to see what was going on there? I keep going. Okay. So. And I start, yeah, just start sort of like, come on, where where did they go? So, to the voice in my head. All of that aside, Nyx, you and Five, sort of Five, with, with almost a cherubic-like grin on her face, uh, just sort of drags you into the forest um, and just keeps running and running and running and running and running. Fairly agile I, for, for someone I know who that this is a fey forest, so I'm keeping an eye out for any red flags. Or red caps, as it were. Um, <laughs> but uh, in this case, no. The, 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 the first time five stops moving uh, is when... Um, uh, is when... Um, the two of you breach into a clearing um, and five just sort of stops looking around. And in this clearing, you find uh, a kettle sitting <laughs> over a fire, two large toadstools. Um, uh, Jeremy, can you mute for a minute? Yeah. The sorry. Bass is particularly loud. Um, no, no problem. Um, and uh, a blue skinned hide wearing, old man looking person sort of sitting at a sitting with a bowl talking to a speck of light uh and who turns and looks at the two of you as you approach and the speck of light winks out oh oh uh, visitors uh, hello how uh, may i be of assistance <laughs> he's just looking at you sort of leaning back like he's not quite certain what to make of these two new people <laughs> Okay. This intelligence save of a natural one is going to be moderately trust the mysterious person in the known Fey Woods. Mm -hmm. uh. Can you give me a nature check? Go on. Oh, sorry, we weren't. 
intentionally headed this way. This, this is a Furbolg. Um, mm -hmm. Furbolg are fey-touched humanoids uh, that sort of serve as protectors of nature and of uh, fey-touched places. They tend to um, they tend to work with the power of nature. They tend to be druids or rangers or things like that that um, live in isolation quite often and uh, are typically good-natured and kind. Um, looks like, oh, it's not a problem if you've stumbled upon my groves. <laughs> Second time in as many days. But, uh, please, have a seat if you'd like. Five will walk over and sit on a toadstool. Next will sit down. Oh, well, uh, I'm Grindelwald, uh, keeper of these forests. And who might you be? Nix. And five goes five. Nix and five. Uh, Conveniently, neither of those are our true names anyway. <laughs> well, uh, welcome to my humble abode. Would you like some stew? He says, indicating the pot that is boiling with stew currently. I'm all right. Thank you. Yeah. I feel certain. What did you? And five will shrug. I will make you a bowl. And then he'll uh, spoon a bowl out and hand it over to Five, who looks at it, fiddles with it, drinks a bit. Five's face sort of lights up, and Five <laughs> sort of eat, like really quickly eats the rest of it. He makes himself a bowl, and well, are you just wandering the woods, fleeing a monster? You could say. Oh, well, you've come to the right place. Monstrous beings often find themselves lost in these woods, unable to harm those who are under my protection, at least. I like that Corbin thinks he's enough of a threat for Nyx to call him a monster. <laughs> I didn't call me a monster. Fortunately, one of the things pursuing me is quite powerful. And the other one is quite fucked. Well, then there shouldn't be a problem. And he just sort of smiles, his big bulbous nose, and continues to just quietly drink his soup while looking at you. Yep. He doesn't seem like he's going to press you for any information. He just seems like he's uh, sitting there chatting and enjoying the company. Yep. Nyx will pull out that small candle, that little black eternally on fire candle from his bag and just mm -hmm. look at it. It sits there and Try burns. To meditate a bit. Sure. Hmm. You seem like someone who has a lot on their mind for one so young. There are, were, I suppose, people I thought I could trust, support, work with. Um, mm -hmm. And I sort of realized that I'm not I'm not willing to be on a leash for them. Not willing to never leave their sight or obey their whims. And if they find that inconvenient, then I'll need to find a, another. I'll need to. <sighs> then at least they can still protect someone. I'll look at five. Well, uh, not that I necessarily have much knowledge in these matters, but is there a particular reason why these people would want you on a, as you say, a leash? Because they aren't willing to allow me the personal autonomy to leave their sight because they think it's too dangerous for me. Why do they think it's too dangerous? 
Because despite all evidence that I can quite reasonably stay in my own room, they the they believe that the creature pursuing me will attack. I don't care at this point. Oh, sounds like they're concerned for you. The last person that was concerned for me wiped my memories and locked me in a cage. Oh. The last person who was concerned for me... He sort of looks off and, and stares into the distance. I believe they got eaten by a giant. It was... That was quite a long time ago, though. Yes, that was quite a long time ago. I'm not willing to let them control me, and when I made that clear, it was made clear to me that that I would be threatened anyways. Mm. That is... unacceptable to me as a sentient, I suppose. Mostly, I assume. Um, by the way, at this point, uh, uh, roughly, regardless of how you guys choose to continue on, roughly about 10 minutes after Selena, Corbin, and Hope have their conversation, sorry, Selena, Corbin, and Baldwin have their conversation, the circling birds vanish. Yep. I knew they were magic. Uh, well, no. No, no living, no sentient creature deserves to be caged. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's silly, obviously. Though it does sound like these, from what I'm hearing from you, of course I am. I obviously have no knowledge of anything, but... Sounds like these were statements thrown about in haste and great emotion. I find that great emotion is certainly not a state to communicate clearly anything. <laughs> even, even when that great emotion If is I have to be emotional and... to make it clear that I am not okay with it, after you're desperately trying to get everyone around me to notice what he was doing, I'm uh, fine with it. Not necessarily your emotion. People who are concerned for others can speak out of turn and do terrible things when their emotions indicate that it's the right thing to do. I've experienced that myself. Many, many a good deed was, many an evil deed, I should say, was paved <laughs> with a path of good intentions. Mm. This is the part where Aaron gets all hung up on the, but evil's like a thing in this world. It's an actual, like, con <laughs> And you're talking to a being that serves chaos. <laughs> yes, essentially. Well, if you wish, you can stay here in this forest for however long you like. It is difficult to find anyone in here unless... The forest wants you to find it. This is a selfic forest. It, it bleeds with the Feywild. It's, the yeah. Fey live here and they play. I don't suppose you have any tips for getting out. If you want to leave, simply leave. The forest does not capture people. It does not imprison or hold against your will. It has a will of its own. It understands that. It's also a quiet place. A place of meditation. For those who need it. Mm. Are you certain you wouldn't like any soup or stew? I'm all right, thank you. You do seem hungry. Conjure Goodberry and eat one. 
I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I see. I can do that too. He says, conjuring a handful of good berries and popping one in his mouth. Oh, I find they're, well, they're filling. They're not quite as enjoyable as a good stew, but <laughs> as you would. And he, he sort of pockets them into a bag. And you sort of have a, a, a there's a, there is a, the, the, the sort of anxiety that you've been feeling yeah. sort of starts to bleed away. Yep. This, this just natural calming feeling in this, in this glade in particular. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. You get a sense that, that that sort of calming feeling may have been what drew Five to it in the first place, who's just sort of sitting there uh, playing with a caterpillar that has crawled up onto her hand, and she's just letting it crawl around and flipping her hand around. And we move back to the rest of the party. So, uh, Hope, Selena, and... Oh, sorry, uh, Hope. Yeah. Me, uh, did you make a survival check? Uh, when survival. Corbin me, and I were doing it. But, give me another yeah. survival check. Uh, and Bolger and Corbin and Selena, what are the three of you doing? Yeah, nine. I legitimately don't remember what we were supposed to be doing at this point. Uh, finding Nyx and Five because they are by themselves. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Ah, yeah. Yeah, you had, um, just, you had just finished indicating that it would be good for you to be the one to keep an eye on Nyx. Yes. Not Corbin. Yep. No, I and, remember th yeah. that. I just yep. didn't remember... Like, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't have any tricks for that. Uh, and I certainly don't have any tricks for that because I don't think we've gotten a long rest since yesterday. Nope. You have. So I have no spells above second level currently. Mm -hmm. I've only cast two spells. So, I mean, if you've got something sendy or scryy, great or locatey. Yeah, you use that message. To tell Nix to chill the fuck out. That's how about you use that message to do something productive? Or that. I have one. I have one casting left that I can use for a sending spell. Uh, I've also, with thought in mind, if I had been present, I could have used this again. Preparation, however, um, I can hopefully prevent things from getting too heated if I am <laughs> aware. <laughs> How? I hate that spell. <laughs> part of part of divine magic is is soothing of anger and aggression. It's not mind control. That is a, that is a taking of free will. This is more a it's a, it's a peacekeeping spell to cessate hostility. That would come in handy later. It's not one I use. It's not one I use lightly, but it is in moments. In moments when emotion is muddying clarity, useful. Well, hopefully it won't come to that. Well, we, yeah, um, we have to find them first. Do you have anything that can help with that? Because I tried got... looking for tracks, but uh, it's weird. I've never flown before. Aside from the one carriage thing, I have the I have the I have the energy stores for what would be required of that spell, but I haven't. But I haven't the scripture. The I haven't the. It's hard to. It's, the connection between a cleric and their and their deity is a, It's hard to explain. But I don't. While I have the energy store, I don't have the blessing. Are you say are you, are you saying, saying you that the body today? is willing but the flesh is or but the but the <laughs> spirit is weak at Not the quite, moment? But uh, what I'm saying is I have a fourth level spell slot, but I haven't prepared to locate. I understand. I yeah, just yeah, yeah, enjoying yeah. I was yeah. just enjoying watching you put yourself through verbal contortions Mental. to try and justify it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> 
technically I still have my sorcery points up, so I still could cast spells, but I still have nothing that can help with what we're trying to do. Um, All I can do now is send a message. That's the last thing that I can do. Um. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, we can't just let Hope be the only one out there looking for him. Here's my difficulty. At this point, at, at this point, you f you see Hope heading back in your direction, okay. having followed a set of, having followed a set of tracks that has led her back to you. <sighs> Fuck. Did, that was did not it. Follow, yeah. Did you follow my tracks? Probably. So here's my gone. here's my difficulty. Um. I don't like the fact that the that the two of them by uh, alone are 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 who knows who knows where in a situation where bat where 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 Umbra could conceivably get to them. That said, all things considered, did you give them I'm the ring yet? Sure that no, because if it hasn't been made yet, it's being worked on. Okay. Um. All things considered, I think someone just needs a little bit of space at the moment. But we need to know where they are. We don't need to be near them. We just need to know where they are. Maybe send the message to five. I don't know if if they can write. I don't know how the magic works. So, just send this. Hold on, I have to do some counting because I know how this spell works. <laughs> yeah, what do you think I've been doing for the last, like... Because uh, five tried tried to help. She cast fly on me, so that I could. I was not used to it. Most people don't look up when they're being followed. You look ridiculous. Again, yeah, we're doing some well, sort of flailing thing. I was trying to pretend to fall. I thought I sold it, mm, and then no. I actually fell in that pit. Mm, no, to hurt. I don't know. I think I sold it. Believability is in the eye of the beholder. I cast. Oh, I'm doing a word count. Uh, my. Because you're injured. Damn uh, it. Where is that on here? Healing Actually? hands heals a number of hit points equal to your level. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah. Sending doesn't benefit from the new character limit. So I. I... <laughs> 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 oh, it's true. Fantastic. It's true. I tap your shoulder and you get seven hit points. That Corbin. Ooh. The bruises all, slightly go away. All, okay. all, all of a sudden, Wizards just announces we're, incre we're increasing the word limit on sending. <laughs> we feel like it's very important that you be able to clearly enunciate all the things that you want to say in your magical sending message. Uh... Well, thanks. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> it's not that special. Uh, I mean, I can't do that. Can you do that? Well, Boldrin can. I can. <laughs> <laughs> can yes. you do that? Yes. Selena can't, though. Yeah, Selena is, can you? Like, has pulled out a piece of paper, is writing something down. Also, yeah, I, I would have been trying to do that, like, right. stealthily, if crosses you want me to roll for that. <laughs> yeah, give me a stealth check. Yeah, because that's just, how hope is. 17. Uh, 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 
Uh, Corbin, and Corbin, that... you feel better. You didn't notice why, though. Nope. Yeah. And then just hands it over to Boldrin. Well, you might have known. Yeah, I, I might have like let you know, but like no one else, because I okay. hope trust Corbin, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm really kind interested to see what what Selena has handed Baldrin because I don't know what you wrote. No. <laughs> Am I sending this to Five or Nix? Nix. Oh boy. Nix is the one who needs to know this information. It's not going to help. It's not going to help trust issues. If we don't communicate directly with him, that's twenty-two words. According to Notepad Plus, that's twenty-four, and I get twenty-five, right? Uh, you're counting the Selena says as part of that. It's twenty-two. Yes, I am counting the Selena says on that because that should be included in the sentence. <laughs> yeah, I'm very curious to see what this is. Yeah. Please 25 say words, correct? Please be sure to say it out yeah. loud. Yeah. So that the podcast <laughs> listeners can hear it. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Is, yeah. that is everything. Yeah. Uh, but it will. I, I take that that piece of copper wire much, that I used I just before. want to hear William say this. But <laughs> He's going to sing I, Macarena. I, I just, I start, I start writing out the message in the air. As he's sort of like he starts mouthing the words um, as he's sort of reading them off the paper and writing them in the air. Selena says, "Take the time you need. If you encounter Umbra or otherwise, please get back to us or let us know." Heart symbol. <laughs> there is no D and D word so, for emotion. Uh... Baldrin, you get no response back. Nix, you don't hear that. Cutting over. To the forest. God damn it. Hang on. There's a 5% chance of getting through planes. Hang on. <laughs> Let the GM tell you what happened. No! And we are you're... taking over this game. <laughs> Rocks fall from nowhere, everyone dies. Okay. Okay, um, new character. Sorry. sorry. So, Nick, as you're sort of sitting there, just sort of calming down and, and decompressing in this glade with Gwyndavald and Five. A uh, floating light appears out of a stone with a circle in it um, and flutters over to Gwyndavald. It leans over and it sort of, it floats over to his ear and blinks. Like the light just sort of glows brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer, and dimmer sort of in his ear. It's Tinkerbell. <laughs> uh, hey, listen. Uh, well, um... It would appear that your friends are trying to get a hold of you if if you're interested in hearing the message they've sent along. Yeah, I was expecting that. Hmm. And this little ball of, of fey light sort of floats over to you and and uh uh you you hear a very fey approximation of what was just said. A very light voice, just whisper in your ear the things that was just said. I was really hoping it would be written out so that Selena would have just invented emojis in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> and, well, because when it gets to the heart symbol, the, the little ball of light stops talking, gets confused for a second, and then morphs into a heart. Aww. And then goes back to a little ball of light. And indicates yes. that Selena that was can part die of the now. She has accomplished everything she has ever wanted to in life. Not really, but <laughs> um, mechanically, can I respond? It seems like the the light is waiting for okay. a response. Okay. Because the Mordenlands aren't the only place that spells can become animate. If this was unclear, I refuse to be caged or leashed, especially not by allies. My personal freedom will be respected. Next. 
it sort of blinks a couple times and then floats back through that stone. And then a few... Because I'm not really sure if that's going to go through the same channels as it normally would. A, uh, a few moments later, um, Baldrin, you're sort of like trying to figure out what happened with the spell. And then all of a sudden, paint just falls from the sky and hits all of you. <laughs> Give me dexterity save to see how covered you all get. Dan. Thirteen. Thirteen. We are a dexterous bunch. <laughs> all of you are just coated with rainbow colors of like, paint. What the? And it gets in Selena's mouth. It gets all over your armor, and it is just viscous and taffy-like paint. Uh, and you sort of step back and get it off your face and look I down. I do not step back. I just stand <laughs> there. Selena just sort of stands there. The rest of you sort of move around and, and wipe your face off and look down and written in this rainbow color paint is Nix's response. That is almost completely unrelated to what was said. It seems like a prepackaged response. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least he's alive, maybe? Selena, don't choke. Are you okay? <laughs> this didn't happen last out. time you cast a spell. Tell me this only happens sometimes. Because this is going to take forever to get out of my armor. Oh. Oh. That, this, this, seems like fe, this seems like fey interference. Right. Uh, Selena, I think you're the only one that can clean this up. I'm sorry. Prestigitation. <laughs> Prestigitation. For some reason, as you cast Prestigitation, the paint doesn't go away. <sighs> Prestigitation? Nothing happens. Uh, please go away, I say to the paint, as I just like try and brush it off of me. <laughs> The paint sort of on Selena's face sloughs off <laughs> to the ground. I spend six sorcery points to get a level three spell pack and cast this spell magic. Nothing happens. <laughs> the, uh, the, the pile of paint that sloughs off of you rises back up into the air as a little ball with a face on it. And it just turns the, it, the face turns into a pink heart. And then the ball just sort of floats away. Can I get like what nature arcana? Give me something? a nature check. Yeah. <sighs> okay. This is this this screams Fay. Eight sixteen. Yes, this is Fay. This is not I... Fay magic. This is a Fay creature. Um, this is a creature commonly known as a paint sprite. Um, it is effectively a, they're, they're, they're typically harmless. They occasionally perform pranks on, on, on people by coating them in paint that can't come off. Um, they're beings made of this sort of oil like substance that is equivocal to paint, but isn't actually paint. Um, and they, they, they are not typically used as messengers, but you're not certain what happened here in the first place. So... As it I... leaves, does the paint go away? On the on the ground, no. The paint on all of you does. As it sort of it sort of sloughs off of all of you, ah! and you see all of the paint on you sort of forms into about three different paint sprites, all of whom look at you, form that heart shape, and then float off. I think you've started a trend among face sprites, Selena. I fucking hate the Fey Wild so. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? <sighs> Let's go back to the inn. <sighs> I am reasonably certain. In fact, right now, I hope Umber goes and finds them because Umber's gonna have to deal with that shit and we probably won't see Umber for like 3,000 years! 
Hey. Back in the That's forest. That's a plan. <laughs> Grindelwald looks I over. I don't have the charisma to sell my soul and become a warlock. Uh, Grindelwald looks over. Uh, appears your message has been received. Good. I... <sighs> Perhaps the f- fool doesn't realize. Baldrin makes a mental note. Explain the difference between leash and bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> to Corbin and Nix. Nix, you were saying. Perhaps the fool doesn't realize what that is, but you'd think the others would. At least enough to care. But then again, he claimed he would care if we found that wizard, and he clearly hasn't cared about that. What wizard? Yeah, that's certainly a thing that Boltron didn't care about. <laughs> With that plus 11 inside score, you should know better. It's... Nick hasn't okay. actually incited you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Nick. I'll. No, I'm not going to. No, I, 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 I might not come out at some there. point, but I'm, I'm not most, really going to explain. I'm um, mostly teasing you. Yeah. I'm, Grindelwald didn't have a response. What wizard? Uh, the ridiculously overpowered wizard that I do not want to affiliate with anymore, but it seems like we're going to have to. Hmm. Well, ridiculously overpowered wizards often have a way of affiliating themselves with people who don't want to be affiliated with them. <laughs> It's part, I believe, of the ridiculous side of the equation. <laughs> and he just sort of smiles. No. Though I do claim to be ridiculous, uh, overpowered certainly wouldn't be a phrase used for me, just a uh, kindly old Jew. Mm-mm. Would you like to stay here for the evening? No, I should be getting back. I should determine whether or not there willing to have me with have me as someone who is not I don't expect to always get my way, but I don't expect to to be. I should just figure out if they are willing to accept that. That seems like a fair enough request. Mm, Very well. So that you don't spend the rest of your evening or the next two weeks wandering in the woods, I will accompany you back to the edge of the village, if you don't mind. That would be very appreciated. He nods and stands up. Um, a little, a little, uh, what looks to be some sort of dragon, but in miniature, floats, <gasps> floats out of his tent and lands on the top of his staff that he is now leaning on. Um, it's a vibrant pink and green and yellow color, uh, yeah. sort of decorating this little miniature dragon. That sort of. Um, uh, was there anything else you needed while we were here? Five just shrugs and hands the ball back to Grindelwald, who takes it and puts it on the ground. Oh, well, if that is be off, then. Uh. Yep. And he begins to lead the way back into the woods. Uh, in, in what seems like far less time than you spent running, uh, you find yourselves back at the edge of the village, just beyond the forest. The um, Sylvan Forest, I'm not surprised slightest in this context. And uh, uh, Grindelwald sort of stands at the edge looking around. Oh my, they certainly seem to have acquired a new I mentioned the ridiculously overpowered wizard, right? He's just looking up at the tower. Oh, well. Hmm. I think it's portable. I I don't think it's going to be here forever. It must be one spectacular mason. Uh... Well, 
Here you are. Would you like Thank me to you. accompany you any further? We'll be all right. Well, stay safe and remember. Mm -hmm. It sounds like your friends are concerned for you. It also sounds like I'm they have sure no my idea. friends are. It also sounds like they have no idea how to show that. And he just sort of smiles. Come and visit any time. And he turns and the dragon... Rah! The dragon sort of breathes and this pixie dusk sort of flows down mm -hmm. at you. And just sort of dissipates as it touches your face. Um, and then they wander back off into the woods. Head back to the inn. Uh, so you guys have been back at the inn for about two hours uh, when Nix and Five walk into the door. Welcome hey. back. Hi. Hey. Nix will slide down, flag a drink. Five uh, holds a notebook out towards uh, Boldrin and Selena. Did you know there are tiny dragons? Did I yeah. know there are pseudo dragons? Give me a nature roll. Yeah. 14. Uh, nope. Yes, you both know there are pseudo dragons. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, uh, you just actually... wanted me to, me to get a roll in so I could bring my average down, right? <laughs> well, if you had had a natural uh, one, you wouldn't have known. <laughs> they're, they're actually a quite popular pet among um, those who have a more higher class persuasion. They call pseudo dragons. Nix, uh, sorry, five pulls back and, and draws. This one was purple and pink and green and yellow. Sounds legit. Very nice. Five sits down. All right. I need to have a conversation with a couple of people. First off. Okay. You, you, I say, pointing to Nix and Corbin. I'm so shocked. I have to have a conversation with you as well. Good. Let me do a little bit of talking first. So, I need to explain to both of you, I think, just to make sure that this is clear I'm being impartial here. The difference between a leash and a bodyguard. A bodyguard is for your protection. A leash is for your control. A bodyguard, it, you determine where the bodyguard goes. The leash determines where you go. The bodyguard follows you. You follow the leash. You have no leash. We need you to have a bodyguard because someone is hunting you who can appear whenever they like. I need Corbin to understand that as well when I say that Selena is going to be your bodyguard. I think it also needs to be said that whatever whatever the the stated intent, I actually really understand why it was being viewed as a leash. I un oh, because no, it was a control. As a leash. That was exactly what he told me he was doing. Yeah, okay. no, I said that. Okay, yeah. Because it was a controlling move, which is All not, right. not a good idea. Then let me be clear about this. We gen... Not necessarily exactly how Umbra's detection works, but we generally know his range and purview. If you are unwilling to let me be alone, have my own space, then that's fine, but I'm not going to stick around with you. Oh no, let's be clear. I'm going to keep, uh, I'm going to keep close when needs to, when it needs to happen, but I have no intention of watching you every day, of the, uh, every moment of the day. You need a lot, just like I I had Baldrin send. You need time, take time. We all need time. I am not a MacGuffin nope. to be never left alone and 
freaked out and controlled about. I am not uh, some wandering in abyss pet. Again. And that part, like, Nyx is looking directly at Hope. Again, difference between a leash and a bodyguard. Selena is not your leash. Selena is your bodyguard. I don't have any problem with what Selena has done. And I generally trust Selena. This is so weird to me. How the fuck do I get this many people <laughs> to trust me? That's your job. I what are you talking about? You. Weird for you? Yeah. Yes, I know. But how often does it oh. work, does does it work for this long of a period of time? It works for just long. Why am I talking to the air? Um, <laughs> yeah, your inner I monologue just, is sorry. Sorry, I, 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 back. I should point out that Selena started once we got back to the bar because she just took a paint bath. Selena continued to start drinking. <laughs> oh yeah, Corbin will start joining you at that point. So I'm she probably to is talking drinking. to herself. I trust Selena because Selena has expressed a decent value for sentient autonomy and generally that mentality. I am not something you can control. No living being is. Exactly I my is. point. I think the key is should try. As in not something you should try. Anyways. Hey, look, this one's empty. If this happens again. <laughs> I'm gone. That's not a threat. That's me, me protecting myself. I mean, that's fair. Because it's clear that I need to. No one here is after your blood. No one here is here to cage you. As much as some of us might be poor at going about it, none of us are here to hinder you. We are here to protect you. Really prefer you not be here in relation to me. <sighs> oh no, believe me, we've got other things to do as well. But I am, I am, man, I am a man of many tasks. Not a thing to be protected. You're not a thing at all. You're a person, and you're a person who's in grave danger. You know what? Good enough. <laughs> I think I got halfway through Baldron's skull, and I am 90% sure I didn't get through Corbin's in the slightest, but good enough. Yay. Yay for assumptions. Drink. I put a drink down. Hope is not drinking. It's Nix will have his one drink because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well that was lovely. We had conversations. Yes, and, and we should on, have on the end have... on the end of the word conversations is a flash of light. <sighs> I was just and about to say a, a ring drops into Selena's empty mug with a note attached to it. Does that normally happen? <laughs> I'm just glad it wasn't paint was this time. Uh, 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 ah. The note says, the note says, have a care. It is ready. One of you knows how to get in contact with me if you need it. So, it works in a radius. How big a radius? 60 feet. 60 feet. 60 feet. Hmm. If you suggest that I am never more than 60 feet from you. Abso-fucking-lutely not. I would, I would. Thank you. 
you're Glad awesome. Glad someone is also I'll angry about this. I'll kill you stuff. at some point. <laughs> that said, Tink, it solves a major problem. Five. And to be clear, I'm not here to protect any of us. I'm here because there's an asshole who ha- who seems to refuse to die, who I think we need to fix that for. And we are the group that is, w- by some f- horrible, horrible stroke of luck for the fate of this what farming place, we apparently are the people that are supposed to do that. So weep for the rest of the world, but we're fine. I've, I genuinely think that it, it would be best, given that I have stronger defenses against Umbra unmodified. Agreed. I actually, five, I actually agree that five should probably have it. Five uh, writes in the notebook and holds it up for you all to see. Umbra has never kidnapped me. Um, I don't know point. if you remember, but... When you were initially sleeping, it, he made a very good effort. Um, she underlines never and kidnapped, and then me, Plus and then, then Nick. gestures towards Nix with it violently. Plus that was Nick. intentional! Plus, Nix, <laughs> then if you do need your space, then you can get it. And we won't be able to find you. I think that's a legit point. It's one stone. Nix, you want us to understand you. I just wanted to give it to the person who deserved it. I... You want us to understand you. I've seen no. your work. You are skilled at reading people. Work on understanding us, too. There's a lot of different people here who have a lot of different reasons for doing what they do. We're not all the same. We don't all have the same reasonings. I never try and make excuses. I'll take the ring. That's Sorry. not relevant to what I'm saying. All right. Ring has been gotten. Sweet. Agreements have been... There is something, um, I haven't slept in, like, probably a good 24 hours, and I'm fairly drunk, so... Uh Uh-huh. There's a place we need to go when we're all rested and done in the morning. Where's that? Barkeep, do you have rooms here? I step outside. And I wait to see if anybody uh, follows me. Yeah. Corporate roll. A thumbs upstairs. Do you have rooms for the people who who, who helped free yeah, you from... <laughs> of course they do. They already gave us rooms. He, 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 he yeah. just finished saying yes and thumbs up to the ceiling as Selena asks again. He looks over. Well, yes, but I, w- I was not there for the I, you don't have to pay for them part. I probably should have. Cut you off earlier," he says, looking down at the, <laughs> at the, at the drink. He, oh he was, shit! The am I not paid for any of these? That's even better. <laughs> Excuse me. As oh, I go um, upstairs, just sort of subtly slips the barkeep. Um... God, I was gonna pay for those. Uh, how? Seriously, how much do you need? It's fine, he says, waving a hand at you. You guys save the town. You get your drinks for free today. <laughs> today. He looks over at Bolton, who's like sort of standing at the door. Uh, I, your friend sort of dramatically stepped outside like he had an end yeah. to that sentence. I don't know if you guys should do it. Or not. He does. No, yeah, no, I already and... went out too. <laughs> yeah. He does yeah. say that before I Selena gets all the way up the stairs. At this point. He, he did say that before Selena got all the way upstairs. Whether or not Selena cared or not is up to Selena. Uh, I 
Uh, twirl and fall down the stairs. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Selena's gone. Selena's gone. So, Everyone else so steps like, outside. Which uh, actually, which actually might make this point a little bit easier. <laughs> fuck it, and goes back up and continues upstairs. So when everyone has joined me outside, I just kind of point at the towers that are never not visible from any point on this continent. Yes, uh, he points out at the the massive in size and scale tower that even from this distance you can see um, punching into the clouds and beyond. What about Why it? Why do we have to go to the Tower of the Gods? Destiny is guiding us there. I think... To solve this, there are things we need that currently don't exist. And the secret to unlocking that, from all I can tell, is hidden in that tower. Fuck Destiny, no! We can go! Oh, now who's being uncooperative and not doing exactly as she's told? That's not... Shit. My point being... We need things that are currently in the abyss. And as far as I can tell, and everything that I have found points to that tower as a secret to getting things out of the abyss or forcing the abyss to recede. We need a mirror, which is with some being that Where? captures souls. Where is this being? Where is I it? I don't know. Maybe we More go than to the floor and we ask not around. Not in existence. Maybe it's in the tower. That's where it exists. You know That's you know? another possibility. Sorry, How I mean, much... it just had to be said. Sorry. How much do you know about the tower? Good question. <laughs> yeah. Presumably a fair amount, given it is linked to the abyss. All of you know the mural in Core, except okay. for Nyx, who doesn't live in Core. Um... The mural in core indicates that the tower is linked to the creation of the world, and that uh, and 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 that it should theoretically have it, it, it's it, it's not entirely certain how it's linked, just that it is, and that it and the abyss operate as sort of a single unified entity. Next, you can make me a nature roll. The abyss and the tower are linked. Nix, if you want answers for the from the abyss, you'll find them in the tower. You know fuck all about the tower. Mostly is because this another thing like Eidos is linked to the abyss. No, this is the abyss and the tower are practically operating one in the same. Yeah, and that was Don't you have, have a moral the abyss stance and it's jumping him into, into the into abyss. Adam. I have I have I have a moral I have a moral stance against jumping into the abyss. People have entered the tower and left before encountering anything. The tower doesn't kill you upon entrance. I'm certain it's dangerous. Yeah, they have missions into the tower for exploration. And they don't all come back out. Uh, that's why I say I'm certain it's dangerous. But there are things that we need that likely don't exist yet that are currently shrouded by the abyss. The tower might be Nixle the only way that we can get it that we can find them. Have his out. Stick. It's not a city. I'm not the one you need to convince. And head upstairs. I look to the rest of them. We need to go to the tower. Five rights on paper. Ask around core first, then tower, since they're next to each other? Perfectly reasonable. Yeah, I think you have to go through core to get into the tower. I don't think you can get in from the outside. Fine. Can we go and talk to that that information broker, at least? Certainly. Anything no, we need I'm to get done in... To kill him? The tower is likely a point of very little return. Once we're inside, we're probably going to keep climbing until we've found our answers. So, any business we have to get done that is urgent should be done before we enter the tower. You must gather your party before venturing forth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we need to uh, talk to Selena because 
She's been carrying around that shit that we got paid for. We haven't had time. Because there's some stuff I want to buy in core. So. Speaking of, but unrelatedly, Nyx is going to go knock on Selena's door. Dun, 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 dun. Selena? Snoring. <laughs> Snoring noise. I think you're muted. You're muted, Jeremy. Huh? Sorry. Yeah, what? Um, I know you're probably drunk and tired, but there's something I wanted to, real quick, I think. Yeah, ka, ka. Mm. Pillow yeah. is currently overhead. <laughs> What's up? Um... I Baldron wishes to thinks that the best next step is to go into the Tower of the Gods. And I thought you deserved a heads up. Especially uh, because I know you two sort of There's a struggle. long long pause before the pillow gets removed. She sort of I'm sorry. Talking to each other. I thought you said something about the to- about we need to go to the Tower of the Gods. <laughs> that is the next destination that Baldrin hopes for. Now, oh, now for before f- you start, I'm not going to say agree with him or do what he says because no, <laughs> it's obviously your decision. But you and Baldrin tend to get into this, like, you tend to do this thing where you both are like, we should do, one of you is like, we should do this. The other one goes, no, never. Uh-huh. And... You accurately described our our, 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 our dynamic, correct? Until about, and I'm like, this thinking that afternoon. if you have a heads up on this one, at least uh. you have a chance to figure out how you're going to Frame I mean, it that might be useful if, why? if you want to. According to him, there are things. Um, someone mentioned a mirror. I think for seeking out Umbra and also possibly like personal agenda, I wasn't really sure. Probably. Um, things that he can retrieve because of the Tower of the Gods. Also, he has this thing about his adoptive home city, so I'm assuming he also wants his home city to suddenly operate into existence. But that's a guess. Look at you using that insight skill. (laughs) (laughs) My passive insight is 11. I think I can make basic guesses that might not be accurate. (laughs) There's a lot that you just said in a few words that I'm not even going to begin to try to purse out at the moment. Um, no, no, this that's fine. I, I am moderately certain that nobody there is going to try and kill me, and I'm perfectly willing to go along with this. You know why? Because the more I concede on things that don't really that don't really affect me that much, the more I can throw. I, 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 the more, the more, let's call it karmic money I have. <laughs> well, I can eventually dump on you. his head later. Okay. That's why I thought giving you a heads up would be a good idea. That's good. That's good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, (laughs) I I do think other people will be... I'm sure they're still fighting down there, actually. Uh, It's any number of... It's any number of us between uh, greater than one in one place. There's probably fighting. Um, I've been really nice to everyone. Wait. 
Okay, I am I I am generally on your side on most uh, on on a lot of this stuff, and I understand why. At least I think I have an idea of why. There are a lot of words that I would use that is that are proper to explain. How you interact with, with with most of the rest of the group. Understandable. Um, oh, no, I'm a monster. I, I said five is nice to others. Oh, five? Yeah, five is nice. You're not a monster. I just would not. I thought you said nice. You. I said five is nice. Yes. Yes. I said nothing I'm about sorry. me because I haven't slept yet, and I've still I still yeah. have a lot of alcohol in me. It's okay. Um, I, I wanted to make sure you knew. That is appreciated. Also, if uh, Corbin shows up in my room, there's going to be a giant um, animal on him when he wakes up. I'm okay with that. And it's not my fault. If Corbin it is my shows fault. up in your room. Feel free to let me know in some way because I still have some spells I can use. I don't have them until I rest, which is why I said he'd wake up with something on top of him. But yeah, okay. Right. So. Fum, funk. Unless there's something else. You all retire nope. for the evening. And wake up in the morning. None of you Yay. in each other's rooms. Nope. None of you <laughs> dead, presumably. Nope. And you reconvene for breakfast. All right. Ah! I stab everything with <laughs> violence on my plate. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, barmaid. <laughs> because I was about to say, okay, roll five attacks. <laughs> uh, All so right. Yeah, once, when, once Baldrin comes around, I'll be like, so was us actually getting along yesterday a one-time thing, or are we going to keep this going? I would like to keep getting along with you. All I don't right. Know it's going to keep going. Well, we'll see. It'll be an adventure. I tried to let you know what I had in mind for where we should be going next last night, but you went upstairs. Has anyone told you? Hold on. Do you, do you remember what happened last night? Is the question. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> there was a natural 20 constitution save. There was. No, nobody told me yet. The Tower of the Gods. That one. Yeah, we huh? probably head there. The Tower of the Gods. Hang Apparently, on. that's the where we need to go. Of insight. Yeah, okay, I believe it. <laughs> really? Yes. Why? Interestingly enough, that's exactly your passive insight. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is what um, I was rolling on, so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, for one, there are things that we need, things that we have determined are quite necessary that quite possibly don't exist yet. And the only way that I can think of to make the abyss recede might lie within the Tower of the Gods. Uh, you know... Of all the places, I mean, I feel like there's there are definitely places that could serve us better. <sighs> Still need to sort of check out Clifftop, but Clifftop is open season for wyverns, and there are adventurers constantly going there. Clifftop but I do agree. Is where a shard is. Yes, yeah, a shard up there. I do agree. Any business that we have should be done. Any business that is urgent, that is immediately urgent, that cannot wait, should be done before we enter the tower, because I feel like entering the tower is, once we're in, there's no going back. 
we either climb until we find what we're looking for, or the tower is very dangerous. Oh, my favorite. Um, a dangerous place called the Tower of the Gods. I'm so excited for this. <sighs> All right, I will... It's about as productive as chasing a guy you can't fucking kill. I was less looking at, at chasing Umbra and trying to find the, the shard. Or dealing but... with them. Sorry, the... What was it? Abyss Empowered? Favored. Best favored. I'm sorry. Um, I really just don't like using the term that they are using for the no, ritual I get that's it. going to kill us. I get it. Fuck that guy. Um, if anyone has a better suggestion for a different noun, that works too. I'm not going to say that I don't have misgivings, but I'll go with it for now. That's fine. It's the fucking tower. Inside. <laughs> 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 so, you finish eating. Yep. And the determination is to go to core to get access to the tower? Yes. And do whatever else you want to do in core before going in? Yarp. Yeah. Yeah. So, yep. We'll inquire around the town if they need people notified because magical ritual or anything it seems like there have already been messages sent out okay um and in fact on the road coming down from core as you guys get out and start preparing to leave you do see a patrol of armored individuals um armor it seems like two two columns of four uh, uh two columns of four so eight people total sort of marching in in unison with each other on one side uh wearing plate mail colored plate mail with sort of a red cloak and red uh, uh markings on it on the other side plate mail with sort of blue markings and a blue cloak um and both sides wearing masks one mask uh, uh, uh on the right hand side the right side of the mask painted the color of their cloak and the other side white and exactly the opposite on the other side, sort of marching into town as they come. The Templars are here. How many, just idly to everything back, how many cities are there in this world? Uh, those are from Kor. Those are the Sundered, those are the Sundered Templars. No, that's not what I was asking. How uh, many cities exist now? There are five. Six. So, Clifftop is one of those places. Mm-hmm. How... How useless are the rangers if... It, don't you keep... Clifftop and... <sighs> What are you trying to ask? Is Clifftop under the purview of the Coronite Rangers? I mean... No. There are, like, six reasonably sized cities in the world, and... Mm -hmm. How long was everything is fine, children of the Corn Town, unnoticed? We actually don't know how long it's been. Did we know roughly... We had no idea when the ritual was performed. Yeah, we... Mm -hmm. Hey, hey yeah, bar, barkeep. Normally anything... Yep. So, I apologize if this is going to sound like an insensitive question. I'm a barkeep. Um, I mean, valid point. Um, but... How long ago... Did you guys get the get the whammy put on you? He sort of flinches slightly, but I'm sorry. There was no nice way it, for me to it's, put it. It's fine. About a month ago. How long does it take to travel from core to? Uh, four days. 
It's almost a week's journey. Assuming this, assuming this place doesn't have too much trade to do. I mean, a month is a time that could be seen. Also, the southern honest, gate of core a... has been closed. He looks over. Uh, why are you guys asking about time frames? Seeing just my continued theory that civilization is utterly useless. It's a bit strange. This town was under a spell for a month, and we were the first to find it. I mean, not for lack I'm of trying. Assuming... What do you mean, not for lack of trying? Rangers come through here every week. Yeah, I'm assuming they aren't trained to notice when people are yeah. magically... As far as they could tell, everything was fine, because everything was fine for us. Yeah. There was no monsters in the in the middle of town wreaking havoc. There was nobody acting oddly. They didn't have the indication that we did that the cult had been here. Yeah, exactly. They knew that there was cultists in the woods nearby. There was that's what the original reports were. That's what what we were sent out to find. And also our local militia. I think you've all proved my point quite well. Our local militia was also under the effect of the spell. I mean, this is not something that we only know we only know it because we were expecting to we were expecting to find something and we I'm, were expecting to find bodies and as much as we appreciate rescuing us and all i'd personally appreciate if you'd stop insulting my town it says looking at nicks oh i'm not insulting your town i'm insulting the concept of civilization my town is a concept, and you're insulting it. I'd it's... appreciate it if you'd stop. I thought it was a relevant question. I certainly... Honestly, you're not what I'm interested in. I don't care. Same to you. Let's go. I look, at the, I, look, up. I, I look at the bark even. I kind of mouth. I'm sorry. He shrugs. He goes back to cleaning up. Nah. Making um, friends wherever we go. <laughs> we're good like that. Um, I offered to pay for your goddamn drinks. And he said <laughs> no. It's... I don't know how else to make friends with... Mm, things like so, that. Thing. Starting off with not insulting is a good first step. I think... Well, regardless... Oh, well, it was we... an important question once it was considered an insult. Yeah. Are we good to go at this point? How are we going to get to core? Are we going to just hoof it, or are we going to see if they have a livery here? It's not here? my favorite way to travel, but I have two things. They're called feet. Yeah, hoofing yeah, it. We don't, we don't have horses. If we had two horses, I could make us a wagon, but... Alright, then let's hope it. Yeah. Feet! The long way. Let's go the long way. It'll give us plenty of time to divvy up all that pay that we haven't had time to divvy up. Right? All right. First of all, it's not pay. I think we're misunderstanding. It was, it was money that the... was looted Wait. from... Nix will pull out a bag of 200 gold. We got paid. Yeah, not this good. was the treasure that we got from the dragon. Yeah. Not that I'm not. Not that I'm saying that it shouldn't. That it's not going to be divvied out. I oh, just yeah. want to clarify because, yeah, that matters to me. Oh, um, John, I forgot mm -hmm. there. There was a period where Boldrin was just kind of grabbing what he could from the pile, scooping into his pack. That never got listed to me how much he had grabbed. Uh, no, it was. You guys You guys all piled it together afterwards, and I, that was yeah, the total cause, amount. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I, I, I have all I scooped money. it, too. Yeah. Yeah, you guys piled it all together, and Selena kept it. Okay. You're lucky she has grown since then. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, we've got, we've, we've got a pretty fair amount. So, yep. what would you get? from the dragon yeah what did you get a lot of money there are these things called coins uh -huh. yeah how Remember much hope died yeah 
<laughs> I mean, do we want to do this right now in the middle of let's of the let's, bar? Let's, let's walk no. and converse. Let's yeah, yeah, no, we at least divvy it up when we camp. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so you all head out on the road. It's four days back to core. Um, yep. And mm -hmm. so you have four days with which any number of things could happen. Uh, Actually, Nix, how long can animals that you summon last? Uh, it depends on how they're summoned. What do you need? Could you summon a pair of horses? Uh, let me check the spells that let me do that real quick. Because if you can, if you can procure us horses for any reason, I can make us a wagon, and we can make this a much easier trip. Um. So, if I conjure magical horses, they stick around for an hour. Mm -hmm. um, I could try and if we, I could try and find horses, or I could. And or I can entreat animals by speaking to them to. Do we want I to try and do, do we want to give this a shot? Do we want to see if, if we can find horses? If it's an hour, I'm fine with walking. You could always ask the wizard that lives in a tower nearby. No. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> some days on the road might do us all some good. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> do, do, do we want to take some time to try and find horses that might exist in the wild? I don't Could think we this possibly is... fight whatever Nyx finds. I mean, if it's not a horse and it wants to if kill it, us, we could. If it's not, it's not a, a horse, horse. Look, I. Okay, I'm going to explain how the spell works because I'm just going to assume that you mean well. Um. I specify what I'm trying to find. If I'm trying to find oh. horses, I might find mules instead. Maybe at a stretch. I think it's. I think it's specifically the the creature, but it might be slightly broader than that because ponies are ponies are baby horses, and I don't no, know. No, they're a separate is. thing. Yeah, they're just tiny horses. It, it's a it, horse it, ride them all the time. Small horses. It, the the terminology was there. It, but yes. Do we want to try and find horses if I make us a wagon? I'm fine walking. Also, the highest challenge rating beast I believe we could kill given how large our party is. <laughs> um, but no, it's just... I locate a specific kind of beast. Um, I'm fine with walking. Nix will sit down and start to ritual cast. Okay. Certainly. After let's ten take minutes, ten. Let's take ten minutes. After ten minutes, you finish ritual casting, locating a horse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Closest creature of plant of that kind within five miles. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to wait until we're out of the city, obviously. Um, your your so yeah, you guys walk it. You head out a little bit out of the city. Um, not the 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 spell points you back towards the city and the stables that were right next to the gate you left. That's what I just said. I said that I was yes. waiting to... Yeah. Unless you walk five miles before casting the spell, it points you back That's to the stables. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, you but... walk more than five miles, there's no horses within five miles. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't think I'm fi not finding any wild horses. I can try again when we rest. Certainly. So yeah, we'll once we, we'll once we stop wherever it is... Assuming we're not getting a last a a a, a last minute combat encounter, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> everyone else essentially yeah. takes a short rest. Um. And so everybody gets. Uh, she gives out sixteen platinum to everybody. 216 gold pieces, 83 Electrum, and just leaves two there because fuck Electrum. Um, <laughs> I mean, if no one wants that extra two Electrum, I like Electrum. It's a nice metal. <laughs> 1,166 silver and 50 copper. 
Now I'm sort of wondering yeah. if there are people in this world that campaign again, campaign to get rid of copper pieces. <laughs> um, though I realize copper pieces They're actually pennies. have a buying power. Um, <laughs> unlike our They're own pennies. pennies. They Says really the are. They're like the they 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 are almost the standard pay for a day's work for a commoner. Yeah, but we are really closer to five bucks. Um, it, okay. Yeah, that's what gets handed up to everybody. Right. Sweet. All right. Awesome. Oh, I'm trying to figure course. out which. Is there anything else that you guys want to do over the course of the next four days? Next, we'll just not terribly subtly hand Selena back a good portion of that. Um, okay. I don't think Selena will complain if you hand her a bunch of money. You get back everything. It'll go with the amount that she skimmed off the top. (laughs) You get Because she did. Um, I'm just going to say that flat out. <laughs> I'm expected as much. Nix is going to keep that much, and Selena gets back the rest of it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep that separately, because as far as she's concerned, that is the Nix fund. Over the course of the next several days, you all return back to core. Um... There are, you, you pass the occasional um, patrol of rangers on the road. They leave you be. Um, unless you instigate a fight with them. No. Mm, nope. No, they're going to randomly mistake Baldrin for a wanted criminal, though. For no reason. No, other than don't. rangers are useless. No, they don't. I look like a cleric. (laughs) Let me know if you You want to pick a fight with them. Absolutely not. No, I'm not there yet. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And after four days of traveling and whatever conversation you wish to have on the road, which I'm assuming is not a lot, um, you find yourselves back in core at the southern gates, striding through... The Tower of the Gods towering ever ever present over you. And the city and city life as it is sprawled out before you. And on that note, we will end for today. So, Ooh. say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye.